Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. I'm telling y'all right now, don't sleep on Janabek Alem Kanuli. Do not sleep on him. This guy is a real problem. And if you say, well, who the hell is Janabek Alem Kanuli? Look, the name sounds different, but I'll tell you what, this man is cut from that Triple G cloth. He's also from Kazakhstan. He's a Kazakh boxer. And let me tell you, he secured the IBF middleweight title, adding to his WBO title. So he's now unified at 160 pounds. He had, uh, this weekend, he defeated Germany's uh, Vincenzo Gualateri. And let me tell you something. This, this, this Alan Canuli guy, we know that it's, you know, a lot of people believe uh, Demetrius Andre ducked him because he didn't want to fight him. He turned down good money to fight him. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of people who feel that this guy is the boogeyman. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, we keep talking about Crawford. 154, 160, 168. This guy, Alan Canuli, could probably go down to 154 and fight. Uh, go up to 168, maybe 175. So he's in a situation where he can definitely, you know, become like a 3-4 weight undisputed champion. And it's so interesting because we're really close to a reality of being able to have guys who, multiple boxers, become, you know, Two, three, four-time undisputed champions if the stars line up, if the sanctioning bodies work together, and if the secret society allows it. We already have these little weird rules where if someone's a super champion and some of these sanctioning bodies, they can go down and challenge uh, for a title, and they can go up and up a weight class and challenge for a title. So Alan Canuli can definitely do that, just like Crawford can do that. And, and, and Canelo, it's very, very interesting. But nonetheless, this guy, Janabek, came back this past weekend, man, um, and he hit, he hit that opponent, man, uh, this, uh, this guy, uh, Vincenzo, right? He hit him with a serious upper, uppercut in the chin in the fifth round and ended up knocking him out uh, after a minute and 25 seconds in the sixth. So he's got power. And it really reminds me of Triple G with that kind of, when he hits when he hits fighters, like they just don't like it. It's something about those Kazakh boxers, man. But he went on record and said, look, I can't celebrate until I have all four belts. So this just lets you know he also wants to become Undisputed, so he got his eyes on Jamal Charlo and Arislandi Lara, uh, Jamal Charlo and Arislandi Lara, and then he got Carlos Adams down there. But if he can go pick up that belt off of uh, Lara or Charlo, I mean he's in business. I'm gonna tell you what, man, and even you know when you've got a whole country behind you, man. Look, Triple G is out there doing whatever he's doing. You know he's been gaining a little weight and looking like a goddamn Kazakh French bread, but uh, Zanabek is the guy to carry the sport. For the Kazakhstanian people, man. But what he shows, man, is that Kazakh boxing style is a problem. It is a problem. It's something about the beauty of it and the way they move and then the power and the timing. Look, he's an issue. But for those of y'all who don't know who he is, I'm telling you, man, y'all better figure it out real quick. Just like this guy unified the WBO and IBF uh, middleweight championship titles, this man can easily go out there and pick up that damn WBC and, 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 um, and WBA. Just have to wait and see how it all plays out. But Janabek Alam Kanuli, if he becomes undisputed at 160, which, you know, I think he easily can. He just has to get the fights. Fighters are going to want to get paid, you know, like mind-blowing money for that fight because they know they're going to probably lose to the Kazakhstanian. Um, and then he becomes undisputed there. Then he may look at, hey, let me try to drop down and pick up 154 or let me go at 168. And then there's always 175, you know, because we're just, you know, one 175, the 175 pound weight division should have been undisputed. Have, have, it should have had an undisputed champion already. It's just Mauricio Suleiman uh, and the Secret Society. They, they have their own agenda and they're blocking that, which is foul. But what you're looking at, like I said in a couple videos I did last night, 147, undisputed already. 154, one fight away from undisputed. 160, two fights away from undisputed. 168, undisputed already established. 175, one fight away from undisputed. Y'all see where I'm going with this? That being said, don't sleep on Janabek Alam Kanuli. <clears throat> we know Crawford's a bad boy, Canelo's a bad boy, but this Alam Kanuli guy, he's a problem too. That's all I'm saying. Y'all keep cool, I'm in the breeze.